Hey, good morning. This is Matthew Trigali with Smart Shield Property Management. I'm uh, here at my personal residence um, in a brisk uh, morning in March. And the reason I'm shooting this video is to just share a little bit about what it's like when your heat goes out uh, at a house. And so um, it's cold. It's chilly this morning. Uh, it was about 32 degrees this morning when I woke up. Um, and the power to my thermostat actually went out yesterday uh, afternoon at about 4.30 or so and did a little bit of whatever troubleshooting I could do on my own um, yesterday and, uh, and wasn't able to, to figure it out uh, other than the issue wasn't just with my thermostat. So called the HVAC guy and, and that's the reason why I'm shooting this video is just to kind of let you know what that experience was like for me. So called the HVAC guy and he said he could come out uh, sometime uh, Wednesday, which yesterday was Monday. So he basically said he could get out here in about 48 hours. He said sometime Wednesday afternoon. Unfortunately, uh, while I'm pretty flexible this week, Wednesday afternoon is, is actually not good for me. Uh, and so I'm trying to schedule around that with the HVAC guy. I'm kind of hoping maybe he could come out uh, late today. Um, but if not, it might even be Thursday before he gets, gets here. So, um, you know, and I do a lot of business with this HVAC guy. And so, you know, I, I'd, I'd like to think he'll get to me as soon as he can. And, and I do believe that because I've been working with him a long time. He's a very, uh, respectable, reputable, licensed guy that really knows what he's doing. But just want to kind of give you that experience that even for me as a homeowner, and as somebody in this industry with with good network connections, it might take two or three days before I get somebody out here to address this issue with the heat and get the heat back on. And in the meantime, that means, you know, we're probably going to get the temperature in the house. Uh, like this morning, the temperature in the house was, was down to almost 60, uh, which is pretty chilly inside the house. And... And that's with it just being off overnight. You know, we'll see uh, what it's like after we get off a couple of days. It very well could be that it gets down into the upper 50s inside the house. You know, we'll try to do what we can to keep it, you know, keep the doors closed and as warm as we can inside the house. Um, and, you know, we'll have a decision to make if, you know, if we want to go check into a hotel, maybe we will. I actually have family coming into town to visit today, which is super inconvenient. You know, they're coming into town while the heat's out and they're going to be here all week. And so, uh, it's, it's frustrating and it's disappointing, but, uh, but just wanted to share with you that it's kind of normal, you know, especially certain times of year is when the seasons start to change is when HVAC companies tend to get really busy. So in the, in the spring, when things start to switch from, you know, being really cold to really hot, which right now it's mid March. So you know, kind of getting to be that time of year or in the fall when things switch to being warmer to colder is when there tend to be a lot of HVAC issues and the HVAC companies get really busy. So anyway, I just wanted to share that experience with you that um, you know, if you're a tenant with SmartShield Property Management, we hope your heat or air never goes out. Uh, but when it does, we know, I know personally, it's really inconvenient. I have small children in the house. I have family coming over. It's, it's always really inconvenient. And, um, and if it takes two or three days to get the tech out there, trust me, we're doing everything we can to get, you know, get your property service as quickly as we can. But sometimes the situation just sort of is what it is. So uh, so if that's your experience and it's taken a few days to get the situation addressed. And then, by the way, you know, so what out Monday, if he comes out Thursday, based on my limited experience, you know, I think the issue here is going to be he's going to have to replace a control board or a thermostat, which means he's probably going to have to order that part and then wait for the part to get here. It wouldn't be surprising if I'm without heat for a week. It wouldn't be surprising if that part doesn't get here until next Monday and then he comes back out and gets it swapped out and gets the heat turned back on. So I very well may be without heat for a week. Um, and that's just pretty normal, even for us as, as homeowners in the industry. So anyway, uh, just wanted to kind of you know, share my experience with you, let you know that we feel your pain if you are without heat or air right now. 
and reassure you that we're doing everything we can to get that fixed as quickly as possible. Uh, thanks so much. Take care.